Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the potential trade. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at the Los Angeles Lakers in the season and how it ended at the hands of the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Western Conference Finals, it leaves a lot of people asking questions. There's thoughts about LeBron possibly retiring, what are the Lakers going to do with AD, and the direction of the free agency for the Los Angeles Lakers. There's big questions with free agency. There's big questions about LeBron. But one of the most intriguing questions that we're starting to see around the league Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks and Kyrie Irvin of the Dallas Mavericks are starting to get a little bit of uh, uh, notoriety as far as possibly being named for the Los Angeles Lakers, whether it be through trades during free agency, whether it be through signing trade. It's been very clear that Kyrie Irvin wants to team back up with LeBron James. And it's been one thing where he's been playing all over the place. He's been playing for Dallas. He's been playing for uh, the Brooklyn Nets. And he just seems to not have the same success he's had since he started his career with LeBron James. When you think about when LeBron came back and they teamed up, he had a certain kind of success being a sidekick to LeBron. And that, you know, maybe boded itself well. LeBron protected him to a certain point, and LeBron took the brunt of the blame, the damage, everything there. And you're looking at Kyrie Irving, you know, he's a, a hell of an offensive player. Uh, doesn't really play defense that often, but you got to think, he's a dynamic player that if you add him with AD, could be a possible splash that possibly puts them over the top in the West. And you're looking at somebody that can play the offensive game when LeBron's not in the actual game. Somebody who can carry quarters of basketball while LeBron's either hurt, injured, or not in the game, where they can carry the team when AD's not possibly playing. You're looking at what Kyrie Irving brings to the table. He's a wizard, a basketball savant, being able to offensively dribble and, and finish with sauce, finish with English, either hand at the basket. He's literally a point guard that can do it all. Um, he can shoot, he can pass, he can do a little bit of everything. When you're looking at Trey Young, it's a little bit more complicated when you're talking about Trey Young. Trey Young is a, a hot shooting, uh, essential point guard slash shooting guard. When you look at what he does for the Atlanta Hawks, he's their instant offense. He's their game starter. Where they go, he goes. Where essentially, if he catches fire, they tend to win games. But you saw what happened. You know, when he ran out of gas, the Atlanta Hawks essentially ran out of gas. Looking at the play-in game, looking at the, the, the overall playoff seasons that they've had, Trey Young has been a part of the Atlanta Hawks' success. What does that mean for him possibly moving to the Lakers? It means he's a guy that's going to be able to live in that moment when LeBron's not there. He's going to be able to carry the offense. He's a young guy. He can get up and down the court. He's undersized, but he does not really play defense. So that's going to be a concern. Uh, the Lakers have to look into that as well. But you think he's instant offense. He's somebody that the Lakers can build around. And you think you can possibly pair him with a LeBron and an AD and see where it goes. So at this point, you do have two big options if you're the Lakers, possibly trading for uh, Trey Young or either possibly trading for Kyrie Irving. The sky is the limit, but you got to think the Lakers have to do something to get this team better for next year. Whether LeBron's going to be there or not, they still have to make the moves. So this is going to be what's necessary. And I'm, I'm really starting to think that, you know, the Lakers time is ticking because LeBron is not getting any younger. So all you Lakers fans, all you NBA fans, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the news report. Let your voice be heard in the comment section. We definitely will go back and forth and debate and we'll see you on the very next video.